I'm happy that we've navigated our way to the captain's bridge. But the, 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 my greatest concern what? is that I seem to have accidentally ended up captain, and I'm, I think you should be the captain. But somehow this feels strangely right. Oh, how is your navigating? Uh, no, very good. I'm good with maps. Sure. I mean, I wouldn't like to be in charge. <laughs> I think we'd never get us out of here. No, I really wouldn't. I really wouldn't. <laughs> uh, so we are on the uh, on the captain's bridge now, and uh, we're joined by the head of the Royal Navy Medical Services, uh, Commodore oh, Inga Kennedy, us. and the only the only serving female Commodore in the Navy. And alongside her, we've got Lieutenant Commander Chantal Hopper, who was captain the HMS Example uh, in the Baltic. Well, good morning to both of you. Thank you for joining us here today. And I wanted to speak to you first of all because you are the only serving female Commodore in the Royal Navy. So just explain what your role is. Uh, yes, yeah, good morning. Uh, my name is Inga Kennedy. I'm the head of the Royal Navy Medical Service. So that means that I'm the professional head of all the doctors, the dentists, the nurses, the radiographers, the medics, um, no matter whether they're serving in this country or overseas. Wow. Uh, and a position that I'm, I'm really proud to hold in the yeah, Royal I Navy. Bet. I and bet. so when you are on board a ship like this, um, I mean, how do the medical facilities compare on this to a, a modern warship? Um, absolutely. I've just been down looking at the sick bay. I, I haven't been on here for, for several years, but I've just been down to look. And remarkably, the space is actually quite good. Is it? Because we've got to consider that this ship would have had upwards of 800 people on board, yeah. whereas a modern warship, 150, 200, 250. Yeah. And, and yeah. explain to us what your role is as well. Um, I'm just rejoining the Type 26 programme team as yeah. the requirements manager. So using my 15 years of experience of being in warships yeah. to bring the ship from design into fruition. Well, there's going to be a new Belfast. There it is, yes. Very yeah. nice. So, uh, so th will, will the name of this one change if you get another one? I don't think so. Good. But the new ship, I've, again, I've also been having a look around, and the new ship is going to be a little bit more modern. Yeah. Accommodation in particular looks quite different. 